Hey, welcome back. Woohoo! I'm talking right now, okay? Welcome back, and thank you for coming back to listen to REST of 5.4, the Fundamental Theorem of Calculus. Um, I know the first part was kind of easy, but I'm going to warn you that the second part and the third part are kind of abstract, okay? Okay, so let's start with the mean value theorem, or the mean value theorem, I like to call it. If a function f is continuous on the closed interval a, b, then there exists a number c in the closed interval a, b, such that if you take the integral of f of x of dx from a to b, then there's this f of c. It's the same thing as f of c times b minus a. What the factor is this saying you're asking? It's all going to make sense, okay? I mean, if you notice b minus a, isn't that really the width? And isn't this really the height that you remember? Remember how we're taking... Um, Remember when we were doing the area initially? That's how we learned it, right? So I'm going to show you how this works, okay? So the mean value theorem. Here we go. All right. Um, I'm going to try to demonstrate to you with this image here. This image here, okay? You're like, what the factor is this, right? Can you see that? Okay. Well, it's a rectangle, right? You see a curve, and it's in a closed interval A to B. And this guy is f of c because c is some point that lies along this curve, right? c is some point that lies along this curve. And so what we're saying is we're taking the width b minus a and we're multiplying the height. The height, we chose this guy here, right? The mean value, right? So again, let me reiterate this. You have your width, your classic width, right? Your width is b minus a, right? as we talked about before, and your height is basically f of c because you're taking this here and you're going to calculate f of c of that, where I got to define the c. c is some, some special, just some value, okay, on our curve, okay? Some, some c value on our curve, okay? So the mean value of this rectangle, right, is this f of c times b minus a because f of c times b minus a it's basically height times width is this area here that we're looking for so we're kind of just getting the average right that's what mean value actually stands for it's the average okay okay um okay so i'm actually gonna give you some examples with this later after we discuss part three which is the average value of a function okay so i'm gonna take this away and I'm actually going to show you part three now. The average value of a function on an interval, okay? Definition of an average value of a function of an interval is this. If f is integrable on closed interval a, b, oh, okay, then the average value of f of c, this is f of c here, okay, the interval is this here. Okay, now I want you to look at page um, 322 when you get a sec after I talk to you, okay, for more information. But this is basically your average of f, okay? You're like, what is all this, okay? So I'm going to show you this rectangle that you saw earlier, right? I'm not going to give you all the nuanced um, proof for this. I think it'll confuse you more, okay? Um, okay, uh, let's see. Oh, sorry, this is not f of c. That's why it's confusing. Average value of f on the interval is this. This is how you find the average value of f. So you see how you have this curve here, and you're trying to look for, let's say, the area between a and b? Well, we're trying to kind of see the like, average, right? So the area, the area under the curve is equal to the area of a certain rectangle in the interval. So the area under this under this whole curve is equal to the area of a certain rectangle in this interval. Okay, that's the general idea of average, okay? Um, I'm actually not going to show you the proof. I feel like it's uh, it won't mean much to you. But please look at page 322 and see if you understand what's happening here. 
Um, it's similar to what we were doing before, okay? We're taking the summation of all these small rectangles and we're adding them all up, okay? But don't worry about it. All we're gonna do is we're gonna try to use these formulas, okay? So let's try this example. Find the average of 3x squared minus 2x from 1 to 4, okay? As always, you know what this function looks like. That's always important to imagine, okay? Um, this is the formula that you have to keep in mind. So this would go on your note card, okay? Make sure you bring that note card to the test. And here we go. Um, okay, so let's go on with our formula. I like to write my formulas every time. You take, remember how this was formed by the mean value theorem? So look over that in the last part. A to B, F of X, DX. Okay, so we're going to use this guy here, right? So it's, this is your A, this is your B. You're finding this area of some sort of rectangle, kind of, okay? Like an average value of this curve. Okay, so we're going to go 1 over 4 minus 1, integrate from 1 to 4, and we have 3x squared minus 2x dx. So nothing fancy here. So when you do this, you get 1 third, okay? And you get uh, 3x cubed over 3 minus 2x squared over 2, 1 to 4, right? And then, you know, you could do your haya hayas here, all gone. And when you simplify everything, here's what I end up with, 64 minus 16 minus 1 minus 1. Okay, because this is 64 minus 16 minus 1 minus 1. Okay, um, hopefully you got something like this. And when you actually take the, when you take all this calculation here, you should get 16. So this is the average value of this function from 1 to 4. Okay, oh, sorry about that. It should be 16. I just erased it, huh? Okay, so I'm going to show you the picture okay, of what I'm talking about here. So let's look at the picture that we're talking about. So remember the average value of 3x squared. So I'll show you that picture. Oh, you can't see it very well. I'll put the white paper under. So here you go. So I have this function, 3x squared minus 2x. It's going to go from 1 to 4, we said. And we took the average value here, this point. And we made a rectangle. And we're saying we're finding this area here. We're saying that it's essentially the area under the curve. Okay? Okay, so make sure, um, this is a little abstract, I know, I know, okay? Um, okay, so I'll be right back with part four. You're right, you get a little preview, the second fundamental theorem of calculus.